What's up guys and yep, Apple dropped some heat today. I mean, I wasn't too excited, but they did they did bring the heat. Like, come on, Shabon, how could you not expect Apple to bring the heat? So yes, guys, today Apple had their spring load event. I think it's still going on right now, but you know, I, I'm, I'm pushing out the content. So yeah, there's a few things they released, which I'm super excited about. A couple things I would order, a couple things I'll skip on. But in this video, I'm just gonna condense, condense, condense? I'm just gonna condense everything into this small video that Apple really talked about. I think that was interesting enough to mention in this video. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing Apple talked about was their Apple Card. I can't believe Apple Card isn't, like it's still not in Canada. But anyways, for anyone that has Apple Card, there is a new feature or a bonus. They're calling it Apple Card Family. So basically, you know with normal credit cards, if you have someone like your spouse, your wife, that's merged onto the card, only one person usually benefits from the credit score, like growing your credit score. So basically, Apple wanted to change that and they made Apple Card Family. So everyone that's on that card, anyone's name that's on that card, they will evenly get a credit score. So your credit score build up evenly and it's just just one person benefiting from it and yeah that's basically everything that's new with apple card next up all right so the next big thing was apple podcast it's nothing too serious it's just adding podcast subscriptions which is kind of cool because people who do podcasts some of them do it as their main like job so now you could like support those creators and you could offer like for the um creator standpoint they could offer fun things to subscription owners like early release of stuff probably i don't know oh yeah also no ads while you're being subscribed and also it's just really good to give back to um the podcast owners if you like to listen to their podcast and you have enough money to support them so i think it's pretty cool you could obviously still listen for free but then you'll get ads but you have the benefits of subscribing and then you'll get benefits from that podcast owner so i thought it was pretty cool so the biggest shock and the biggest surprise to me was a new iphone 12 color so apple released a purple iphone 12 so for this spring you know you all seen the loading into spring thing it was like so colorful so they thought they needed to add some more color to the iphone 12 lineup and this purple color it looks muy bien it looks very good and i'm obviously going to unbox this on the channel i will be ordering it soon as soon as pre-orders go up which i think is this friday so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss it next up i would say one of the most top three most hype things that has been released today and it's air tags i know air tags is real so after almost two years of waiting apple has finally introduced air tags and it was introduced obviously in the spring loaded event so how the air tag work is basically you could attach it it's very small it's like a circular coin thing you could put it onto your bags your purses your keys inside your wallet and you could track those objects with the find my app on your iphone now air tags could connect it connect with bluetooth and then it utilizes this ultra wideband chip to accurately determine the location of your object so once you connect this to your phone you connect air tags they'll automatically be added to your apple account and then from there you'll be able to track it on all your apple devices so if you have a mac you have an ipad you have an apple watch then you could track with those devices so the design is very simple and you could like even add emojis onto it to personalize your air tag since it's so simple it doesn't even come with different colors it's just white and silver and yeah it doesn't have any adhesive to it or anything you need to put it inside like this keychain thing i think apple will sell but they even collaborated with hermes to make this nice leather one which maybe cost an arm and a leg so i would definitely go for the default holder so yeah i think air tags is pretty cool because it's from apple you know it's gonna work flawlessly i'm not sure how battery life works or anything like that they didn't really go into too much details so as of now air tags will start at 29 dollars and you could also get a pack for 99 dollars which is like a really good deal and you guys could start pre-ordering this friday i think and it will be in stores for april 30th that's for every devices or physical devices that has been released it will be in stores april 30th next up we have apple tv 4k i'm not a huge fan of apple tv never been but they came out with this new hdr color but the biggest thing to me was the new remote redesign they designed the whole remote it's a new refreshing design and i like it with nice physical buttons you can control your tv power with the remote and they also added a button to the side of the remote to activate siri also there's this nice you remember those old ipod when you would like scroll your finger across so basically when scrubbing through um videos and stuff like that it's really accurate and responsive and yeah that's basically for apple tv 4k 
oh, you thought it was finished, right? No, Apple came out with the most colorful set of iMacs I've ever seen. Like, I know they made some old ones, but these ones are just ridiculously colorful. I don't know. I don't know how I personally feel about it. I haven't seen like a black one. Like, why, why all these colors? I'm not sure who would go for this because personally, I feel like if you go with a set color iMac, then your entire setup just has to be blue. It has to be pink. Also, just throw it off. You know what I mean? I personally rather have a white iMac or a gray iMac, a black iMac. But if you're into the colors, this one's for you. But under the hood, we got that new M1 chipset. So this thing is insane. We also have a new keyboard with Touch ID. It's crazy. So let's talk about it in detail. All right, so as you can see from the video right now, it comes in a lot of different colors. It comes in seven actually. Green, yellow, orange, pink, purple, blue, and silver. Now it features like a single sheet of glass on the front with a light color tone, while the back of it has the, the boldest color ever. So the screen is really good. It's a 4.5K 24 inch retina display with slimmer bezels than usual and it makes the overall machine looks really nice. Just slightly bigger than 21.5 inch iMac. So Apple says the new iMac is 50% smaller in volume than the models that we have now and the new 24 inch display has an anti-reflective coating. So whenever light, if you're working in light um, and it shines onto the display, it won't be too distracting. Now the redesigned iMac is powered by Apple's M1 chip as I mentioned earlier and that's found in like the new MacBook Air. Even the iPad Pro, which I'll talk about soon, has that new M1 chip. It's crazy. Apple is just really throwing jabs right now at everybody in the competition. So thanks to that new M1 chip, Apple has redesigned the iMac internally as well. So the new iMac features a smaller logic board with two small fans to keep the machine cool. And Apple claims that the CPU on the new iMac is 85% faster than the previous iMacs. And if the previous iMacs had everybody wet, then this one is gonna have everybody soaking. Like the speed is just insane. Apple even said the GPU performance is also up to two times faster than the other models and the new iMac features an upgraded 1080p FaceTime camera. Why couldn't it be 4K? Why 1080p? But I'm assuming it looks better from the samples that I've seen, but still, give us that 4K, bruh, please. It's 2021. Why we still have 1080p? But even though it's 1080p, it has a bigger sensor and that overall just improves the quality. And also with the M1 chip and everything, it also has better enhanced HDR and face recognition and also more features that I obviously don't know, so I won't be talking about it. Now, Apple has also improved the microphone system. So it now, com it now comes with three mics. Apple says it's the best mic system ever in a Mac, which they always say, any new feature is always the best. So the speaker system, System has also been upgraded. I'm not sure how good it sounds, but it has subwoofers and everything, force canceling subwoofers as Apple calls it. So now there's six speaker system that allows the new iMac to support spatial audio with Dolby Atmos and Apple claims it's the best sound system in the iMac. But let's be real guys, you probably need some external speakers and let's be real, you're probably going to use external microphone as well. But yeah, we can't judge it yet because we don't have it. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss when I test out these new claims. So remember what I was talking about a keyboard. You could get this keyboard like a bundle with the new 24 inch iMac. It features a dedicated button for spotlight search and a touch ID button, which is crazy. It's 60%, it looks really nice in a small form factor. And Apple is also bringing the magic mouse in more colors to match the new iMac colors. So if you're a magic mouse fan, you'll be happier. So the base model will cost $1,299. There's also another model for $1,499. And the base model features a seven core GPU while the 499 model features an 8 core GPU. So this iMac, as I mentioned before, will be available for pre-order this Friday and will be hitting the retail stores on April 30th. Whew, crazy stuff for Apple today, but we're not done. We still have to talk about these new iPad Pros. Let's go. All right, I'm not gonna say I'm a prophet, but I saw this coming. I saw the iPad coming with that M1 chipset. Now, I'm not sure if this is worth an upgrade. It's still an iPad Pro at the end of the day, but the internals go crazy. I have to admit, the internals go crazy. So finally, Apple today announced the 2021 iPad Pro lineup 
with a 12.9 inch variant in the lineup making use of that mini led display panels that everybody's going crazy about it comes with 5g connectivity and that m1 chipset so from a design standpoint the 2021 12.9 inch ipod pro and the 11 inch ipod pro looks the same as my my ipod pro that i have on my bed right here the only difference is that they're slightly thicker the new ipod pro features the 5g connectivity with the us variant supporting the mm wave for up to four gigabytes download speeds and all that stuff so people over here in canada we don't have that millimeter wide brand wave thing but yeah it, it's just it looks like an ipad nothing too different but as i said before the internals it's all about the internals ladies and gentlemen so the big boy the 12.9 inch ipad pro it has that liquid retina xdr display which offers a better contrast higher brightness levels and more it offers 1600 nits peak brightness and a contrast ratio of 1 million to 1 basically it looks good the screen looks good it's good for hdr content nice design workflow and content creation the new ipod pro also features a 12 megapixel facetime hd camera at the front with a 122 degree field of view this allows for center stage which also keeps you in focus while on a video call it automatically zooms in and out on other people in the video call when they come in front of the camera which is kind of cool that's like conference camera type of features so both the 11 inch and 12.9 inch ipad pros are powered by apple's m1 chipset they joined the team that joined the gang the same one that's inside the new iMac the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro just in case you guys didn't know and Apple has also bumped up the internal storage to two terabytes which is now also up to 50% faster now in terms of connectivity there has been Thunderbolt 4 and also USB 4 support on the new iPad Pros allowing it to support external monitors with up to 6k resolution and other Thunderbolt accessories so yeah, to go along with the new iPad Pro, Apple is launching the Magic Keyboard in white. Get me those, I need those. The white Magic Keyboard looks sick. So the 11 inch iPod Pro will be available for $7.99 while the 12.9 inch will start at $1.99. Pre-orders start this Friday and they will be available April 30th with like in the retail stores and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait to get my hands on all these new products. The channel is going to be sick with everything. But yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it's condensed. Hopefully, it's under 10 minutes. Please, please. But yeah, as always, guys, if you're new here, Road to 100K, as always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.